What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini, and I am a fifth year interventional radiology resident physician. Now on today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be trying my hand at some arts and crafts, and I'm going to try to make my own cloth mask. It probably won't be as good as this N95 mask, but it's not supposed to be. So let's go. So I have to put this huge disclaimer on before I start this video. These cloth masks are not meant to prevent you from getting the COVID-19 infection. They are meant to act as a barrier when you are around other people. What I mean by that is that sometimes people can walk around with the COVID-19 virus and not know that they have the illness because they do not have symptoms. If everybody wears a mask, including the people who are asymptomatic, there's a thought behind this that you can decrease the transmission to the people around you. So it's not meant for your safety, it's kind of meant for everybody else's safety. I hope that kind of makes sense. So these cloth masks are not 100% safe and they do not prevent you from catching the disease. They are only meant to act as a barrier for everybody else around you. And maybe if they decrease the transmission by 1%, at least it's doing something rather than just walking around without a mask. No mask is 100% effective at stopping this virus or can guarantee that you will not get infected with the virus if you wear it. Even these N95 masks, which I wear into patients' rooms or do procedures on patients who are COVID positive, they still aren't 100% effective, but they're darn close and that's why I wear them. So now that we got that disclaimer out of the way, let's get to the video. So I actually browsed YouTube earlier this morning and found my favorite mask making video. And it happened to be from this woman named Jan Howell. I will link this video below because it's an awesome video. She's clearly more skilled than I am, but let's see if we can make a mask as good as hers. DIY face mask, no sewing. All right, so you need a t-shirt to start this. I luckily have a million of these scrub tops that are not being used. This one's clean, I promise. But we're going to use this one. You want it to be at least 16 inches wide. And a rotary ruler and cutter if you have one. I don't have that. All right, so we're just gonna cut two one inch strips here. I think she cut off the bottom for some reason, so let me try to do that first. These scissors are terrible. So I tore a lot of this, but let's cut off the ends here. My scissors are terrible, so this is just the end piece that we're supposed to cut off. Then I'm supposed to make two more one inch strips off the bottom here. This is really hard to keep straight. All right. This would probably be so much easier with fabric scissors. And this scrub material is just not good. You can see how frayed it is. That's all I got. I recently just cleaned out my entire closet and took all of the t-shirts that I don't wear and took them to uh, the donation center. So I don't really have any old t-shirts right now. So the old scrub shirt is gonna have to do. Let's see what's next. It makes it so much easier with this wheel. Okay, she clearly made that look a little too easy. <laughs> so let's try, let me cut this first. All right, so I think these are our two ear hole loops. So let's put these off to the side. All right, now we have to measure, I think she said 17 inches, which is pretty wide. Oh, this way. 
17 inches this way. So let me see if I can. When she said eight inches, it looked like it was way less than that. Or way more than that, but I guess not. Because technically eight inches is right here. Is that, does that look like the same amount? I don't know, let's do it anyways. All right, so cut this part. I think it's supposed to make two masks and you can actually make more. I would do it out of this little pocket. Maybe you can have a little pocket on the front of your mask. <laughs> that would be so stupid. But anyways, so I guess I can discard this part now. And then she turned it flat. I have such rough edges here. Don't judge. Look at that. And you keep adjusting until you have it wrapped underneath your chin. And then you can tie it in the back. It's actually not bad. I can actually breathe pretty good in this thing. So I think the sides have seen better days and it may be a little rough around the edges, but it actually does a pretty good job. And I, I kind of like that I kind of uh, double sided it or used two sheets or two pieces of fabric on this. And I hope you all can hear me right now because my voice is super muffled, but it actually does a pretty good job. Uh, it's pretty good, I mean, it's free. You can order these online as well, I've noticed, but uh, you can make your own in two seconds like I did, or maybe it took me like 10 minutes, but either way. I luckily have a few of these from many years ago. We get one every year, 
when we do our N95 fit testing. So, but I will say if I'm just running to the store or something, this is perfect. All right, so let me untie this and finish the rest of the video. All right, everybody, so that concludes this video on how to make a homemade mask. Thanks again to Jan Howell who started this whole video and taught me how to make this to begin with. I will link her video down below. And hopefully you all will make better masks than I do. As you can see, mine's seen better days already. As always, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Turn on those post notifications so you are notified when I post a new video, which is usually about once or twice or three times every single week. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. If I like it, I'll answer it. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.